Why would Gen Z be proud to live in America? It's not that I'm defending him, but put yourself in their shoes. Palestinian flag, and it's still standing there. I actually hate all veterans because all veterans are scumbags. Hey guys, it's Misha and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to discuss a very disturbing trend, which is a growing number of individuals who hate their own country. Yesterday was the 21st anniversary of 9-11. Do you still think it's important? Nobody cares about it because like a lot of us understand like the reality behind what happened. The younger generation doesn't care because we all like hate the military. We hate America. We're going to take a look at some of the things that have happened both here in America and in England because I find them very disturbing. There's a lot to be proud of. The constitution, the principles of freedom, of democracy, for the fact that you can succeed in this country if you work hard, regardless of your race, of your gender, of your religion. And if you're not proud of living here, okay, if you want to burn the flag, if you want to <laughs> scream about how much you want to see the destruction of America, uh, leave. Like, actually though like actually leave whenever you ask these people tell us about your plan to leave the country when are you planning on doing that where are you gonna go crickets you hate it so much you are so oppressed here then go it's all over the news they're constantly going out onto the streets i'm a palestinian i have no problem saying i support hamas because they are the true fighters of palestine and they're gonna bring back palestine because you guys are white supremacist idiots that need to wake the Pro-Palestinian, pro-Hamas, Alhamdulillah, free, free Palestine from the river to the sea. I hope they burn in hell. With all this hyper-individualism, people are now very proud of their race, right? Of their uh, sexuality, of their gender identity. I think we should be proud of our country, okay? I think it's fine. I think it's good to be proud to be an American. And then all that other stuff can come later. I, I don't actually understand why you would be proud of being white or being black, or being gay, or being straight. You're taking the wrong f***ing flag down, mate. I don't know that. Know that. At least you know that. To me, that sounds a little strange. Announcing who you want to sleep with to the world, and then being proud of that. What is so wrong with being proud to be an American? This is not to say, okay, I'm gonna ignore everything that has happened in the past. We shouldn't talk about slavery, for example. Our history's perfect, nothing bad ever happened. No one is saying that. We learn from the mistakes of the past. We ensure that it never happens again. And you can still be proud of the achievements of the country, of the rights you have because you live here. And it's actually very important because what keeps the country together is a shared identity. We are all American. You could be black, you could be white, you could be turquoise, you could be brown, who cares? But you're an American, we're all American. That's beautiful, right? That, that unifies a nation. Without that, we're gonna have a lot of problems because if there is a threat, but we all hate each other and we all hate our country, who is, why would anyone want to defend the country? Things I hate about the United States of America, part two. It's not that I'm defending him, but I'm not about to sit here and act like he's just the worst person in the world when America has literally been terrorizing people since the beginning of history. When, um, what's his name? Whatever the guy's name is that discovered America and found the land, he lied. Put yourself in their shoes. And then when we have the flag, so many people that sacrifice their lives for the flag, we have people on Veterans Day going out to the street to support terrorism, climbing up and tearing it down in New York City. <laughs> If these are people that immigrated here, why are they still here? That's my question. If they hate America so much. When you look at empires throughout history, let's take the Roman Empire, for example, right? What did it have? Okay, so it had a great military, very strong, had good training. You had the infrastructure, you had art, literature, um, a sophisticated legal system, culture traditions. Without that, there will be nothing that unites the people. There needs to be a shared identity for it to be successful. People need to feel like they belong to a community. You take that away, you take, you know, pride in your country away, that sort of community, they go looking for it in other places. Oh, I'm also a they them theirs. I'm also oppressed. Let's talk about the shared struggle of neither being a man or a woman, because that's a thing. Instead, we should have citizens being proud of their country despite their race, okay? Despite their gender. Because again, if there's a threat, we will feel more inclined to work together. Um, that is why it is so important to celebrate the culture, the traditions of your country, and what do we do instead? Okay, we work towards canceling Thanksgiving, canceling Christmas, 
canceling 4th of July, again, destroying the flag. Instead, we replace it with the new traditions. So what are the new traditions? Well, it is a rite of passage to change your pronouns. Established characters, we race swap them uh, because we need more diversity instead of creating new characters. We call everything insert phobic. Fatphobic, homophobic, transphobic. We call everything racist. We teach students to hate America. Yeah! yeah! Banning words, taking down statues of historical figures. Those have become our traditions instead. They were trying to scale the fence of the White House, but this is unbelievable here. This is the statue of General Lafayette. Look at this, free Palestine. Look at that, free Palestine. And they climbed up and left the Palestinian flag. And it's still standing there on US soil. They were able to spray paint General Lafayette. Look at what they were able to do with our iconic statues. I mean, we should be outraged about this, okay? And when you got all the green-haired leftists on your side, there's a sign you're on the wrong side. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, and they're always the loudest. The last six years, dude, the VA has continued to let me down. I just want some continuity and care with mental health providers. We had veterans who risked their lives to keep us safe, their families were impacted. Many of them are homeless now, suffering from mental health issues. We had people on Veterans Day talking about how much they hate the veterans. Taste the rainbow, motherfucker! I actually hate all veterans, and I think that certain veteran statistics are too low and should be higher, um, because all veterans are scumbags and uh, actively participated in and furthered American imperialism, which is the single greatest evil on earth right now. And this reminds me of the debate, Ukraine, Palestine. I mean, these are important issues and we should talk about them, but for like half of the debate, is this not America? Shouldn't we focus on maybe the invasion at the border? I don't know, like when your own people are struggling, maybe prioritize them. When you are giving more money to illegal immigrants, when taxpayers are paying for them and there are homeless veterans suffering and they're not getting that same attention and support, there's a problem in the country. If that's where the resources are going, if that's our priority. The immigrants literally going back to Venezuela because they don't like the state of Chicago. They have a, an American dream for, in my opinion, it's a fake American dream. So if, they're asking me a lot for if I know some somebody who can buy a ticket flight for them to come back to Venezuela. Six word alderman Will Hall, who traveled to the border a few weeks ago, says word is spreading on social media among migrants that Chicago may not be the best place to come. Field shelter, dragging luggage and getting back on buses. Some saying no one told them they were coming here. This mom saying it was just too far from the schools where their kids have been going in Manhattan and the Bronx. No, because they're too good for that. They got used to, uh, you know, taking their kid to school in Manhattan, a luxury that many people do not have. So in England, right, you could be proud of having such a rich history of iconic landmarks of, I don't know, not English, but um, football, right? Literature, art, okay, you get it. So yeah, you can, you should be proud of all of that, but of course not. People have turned their backs on their own country, hate the country, don't leave though, but just wanna tell us how much they hate it. Okay, we had Armistice Day. And a lot of these people that show up are immigrants. Now, I believe you have responsibilities. You have to integrate into the society. You have to contribute something to society. Or actually, let's let's start from the very beginning. You have to come here legally, mm -hmm. which we have a huge problem here in America with. You should respect and appreciate the culture and the customs of the country. For example, if you go to a Muslim country, you are expected to do the very same thing. For example, dressing modestly is usually very important there. So you would do that. Um, so when you come to America, when you come to England, you should do the same. You should respect the culture. You should respect the laws. That is very basic. That is common sense. Okay. Now, does that entail going out and, and ripping the flag of the country that has welcomed you? No. You should also learn the language. You should seek employment. You should work. You should pay your taxes. This is all very basic. And... You can do all of that and still have a connection to your culture. And unfortunately, that is not what we're seeing. With a lot of these immigrants who enter, spit on the flag, set the flag on fire, talk about death to America. I don't understand why we're allowing this. I don't get it. Police in the UK have arrested a man in front of his distraught wife who's battling cancer, allegedly because he showed disapproval of Palestinian flags flying all the way along his local high street. Let's have a look. 
Do you have witnesses saying, obviously, people, why, why are they over here, etc., we let them into our country, etc.? So, f*** you! Yeah, okay. And then, you know, the police when people are inciting violence on the street at these protests. There are some misplaced priorities here for sure. For example, paying more attention to tweets. And if someone was offended by those tweets instead of violent crime, I don't know, maybe protecting the community. Nah, let's look at the tweets. Let's silence people and what they're saying online. That's where the time and the energy and the resources should go. So once again, it is very important to have respect for your country, to have pride in your country. That doesn't mean you have to say, oh my God, our country has never done anything bad or let's ignore everything um, in the past. No, that's not what I'm saying, but you should be proud. Look at the achievements, everything that your country offers you and your family and be proud of that because that is something that unites the people. I would love to hear your thoughts on this. So make sure you comment that below. Also subscribe and hit the notification bell and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.